Okay. Small technical glitch. I'm sorry about that, but uh, it won't stop us from learning about stereochemistry. Okay, let's go. So, on the, on the chiral carbon, we need to assign priorities to each of the groups attached to the carbon. And so the highest priority will go to the atom that has the highest molecular weight. So hopefully this is starting to ring a bell. So this one will have one, all right? And then we're gonna have two carbons here, and I won't go into the details right now, but this is gonna have a priority of two, and this one will have a priority, priority of three more often than not. Just a little bit of uh, foreshadowing for when we get to the actual structures of the amino acids. There is one that does not have the same RS stereo configuration as the others. And then finally, H as the lowest molecular weight of anything connected to the carbon, so this is four. Okay, so remember we want to turn our lowest priority away from us. So in this case, that's the hydrogen, and I've already fortunately drawn the molecule, the amino acid, so that the hydrogen is pointed away from us. Now, we just draw a circle from one to two to three. And the direction of the circle will tell us whether we have R or S stereo configuration. So for this, we have a counterclockwise circle. So this is going to have an S stereo configuration um, for, the, for amino acids. And most of the 20 amino acids have this S stereo configuration with the exception being uh, one is glycine, which has no, uh, which does not have a chiral carbon at the alpha carbon, and the second one is cysteine, uh, which has an R stereo configuration, and that has more to do. It's not that you draw the molecule any different. I'll show you that in a second uh, on the next uh, video. Excuse me, uh, but it's not that the stereo configuration is actually different the way you draw it. It's just that the priorities flip. Uh, from two to three on these, but we'll get to that in a second. Don't let that confuse you. But this is the general structure of an amino acid. And so another way to write this, which your textbook uses, is called a Fisher projection. And so the way this is drawn is if we take the same molecule and we have uh, both the hydrogen and the R group pointing towards us. R, H, so the carbon's in here. And then we have the, let me redraw this. It's hard to see. <coughs> Let's start over here. All right, so we have the carbon. All right, we have the hydrogen over here. We have the R group on the right. And then we have dash wedges for both the up and down. And then that's going to be with the carboxylate on top and the amine going down. Okay? So now notice that the lowest priority is not facing towards us. So it's going to be important in a second. So the way we draw this is in what's called a Fisher projection. And again, this is, uh, this is in your textbook. And what we do is we flatten out uh, the fact that instead of these bonds pointing either towards us on the sides or away from us uh, on the top and bottom, we flatten out the bonds and we remove the carbon. So what you end up is something that looks like this. Where we have the hydrogen, R, carboxylate, and NH3. For this, we do the exact same thing. We assign priorities. So this will be, what color do we do up there? Red, so one, and then two, three, four. And then we draw a circle from one, two, three. One to two to three. And then notice, though, that now this one's clockwise. 
okay? It's the same molecule, and it's still an S configuration, but this is in the clockwise direction, again, because remember, when we set up our molecule to figure out RS configuration, when we draw it like this, the hydrogen is pointing away from us. But in the Fisher projection, the hydrogen is pointing towards us. So that means the circle uh, is in the opposite direction it's supposed to be. So if you flip this entire molecule so that the hydrogen is pointing away from you, this circle would also be counterclockwise, and we would still get S. So remember, if you're going to use Fisher projection, so this is an S amino acid. First of all, if you're going to use a Fisher projection, you have to remember that the, uh, the convention of how you use the uh, clockwise or counterclockwise is the opposite to if you draw it like this, okay?